can see that this is the person page that we've looked at before that gives information about the person and about their family members. And about each person, there's this list up at the top, and one of them says ordinances. And if you go there, it shows you that these ordinances are ready to reserve. Now, don't get too excited. You, there's always a step you need to do before you request temple names. Um, you always need to check and make sure that there aren't any duplicates. So go back to the details page. And over on this right side, under tools, it says possible duplicates, and there's a little number next to it. If it says zero, then that means that the website has already searched to see if there are any other people on the family tree that look like they might be a duplicate with John Vincent. And if it says zero, then that means it didn't find any. If it says one or more, then you will need to check those out before you reserve the temple ordinances. The reason that there might be duplicates is because lots of different people put information into the family tree. And if two different people have entered the names for the, the same person, then that's how duplicates get started and we need to fix that before we reserve their temple work. So we'll click here and check it out. So up here on the top is the information about John Vincent in the family tree. And then down here it's going to list a few different things. It's got data problems and here we see possible duplicates so that's what we want to take a look at. So it's saying that this person on the family tree might be a duplicate of this person but the computer can't tell for sure. It needs a human to check. So that's our job. So we're going to click Review Merge. And we see here that on the left is the possible duplicate, and on the right is our John Vincent from the family tree. And we want to compare each piece of information and see if it looks like it's the same person or not. You want to be really careful with this. Um, don't rush through it. Actually, take the time to read it because if you accidentally merge two people that aren't the same person, then that can kind of mess things up. So um, you want to take a look. Here we've got John Vincent, same name, same birth date, same location. This one has a christening location. Looks like it's the same death date and location and here it's got a spouse and a marriage date and place and here the spouse is unknown and it lists his parents and his siblings and here there are several sources and this one doesn't have sources but all of the information here matches up so we're going to say that this does look like a match so we'll click yes and continue. If we think that it's not a match, if the information doesn't match up, we would click not a match. And here, now that we've decided it's a match, we're going to tell it what information it needs to add to the family tree, if any. Because all of the information matched up, there's not much we need to add. Uh, you notice there was a christening location um, and it was missing from the family tree, but it already pulled that in for us. And it already pulled in the information about his wife and marriage and the sources. If we didn't agree with any of that, we could click undo and get rid of that information. But um, since it is a match, we don't want to lose any of the information, so we will just click continue. And it gives you different options to put in for the reason that you are saying that this is a match. Um, you can take a look at all of those. We're going to click on this one because it, all of the information matched up. And we go down here to the bottom and click Finish Merge. And so now we have just taken these two different people on the family tree and merged them into one. Now they are the same person. And now sometimes when you do that, that's going to affect whether the temple ordinances still need to be done or not. Because if you merge two different people, if one had the temple work done already and one didn't, and you merge them, then that person will have their temple work done already. But you always have to double check. So we'll go back to the ordinances now that we merged. And we'll see that this one did um, affect it when we merged it. Uh, 
he no longer needs his baptism and confirmation done. So we will go back. We'll take a look at the other people and see who else needs their temple work done. Another